When it comes to building a sturdy and reliable stair landing, the classic framed wall method stands out as one of the most popular and arguably the best choice. And here are a few reasons why. Number one, framed walls usually provide an excellent framework that can easily support the weight of the landing, people, and any furniture or other objects placed on it. This is especially important for landings that experience heavy traffic in commercial or industrial buildings. The walls also distribute the weight of the landing more evenly across the foundation, preventing structural load concentration concentration and potential sagging or failure. Also, make sure that your walls are spaced correctly to provide adequate spans for the correct size joist and make sure that you use the correct thickness of plywood according to the on-center spacing of the platform or landing joist. Another benefit to this method, if it works for your project, will be that they can easily be configured to accommodate various landing sizes and shapes, making them suitable for a wide range of staircase designs. And next up, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of different framing methods that can be used to frame a stair landing that will have a wall underneath it like this one and attached to either one wall or to a corner wall. And this is probably going to be the most common, and that will be where you have a rim joist and you're going to nail into the joist. And if you're using inch and a half construction standard lumber, like we're using two by six here in the video, then you can probably get away with using 16D nails. And those nails will be used for everything except for the joist hangers most of the time. And in our next example, we are going to have two walls that form a corner and in this situation the landing will be built basically the same except you're going to be able to nail this joist to the wall framing and you will even be able to attach the end of the joist here by using a angled nailing pattern like this one where the angled nail can go through the joist and then through the other joist and then into the wall framing stud and of course if you are using a nailing gun that's going to be quite easy to do Next up, let's take a look at the inverted or concealed hanger like we have here. And this is a hanger that does not have flanges on the outside, but has them located on the inside, as you can see here when we take out the joist. So not a bad idea to use something like this, better than nothing. And next up on the list, we have this construction method here that I believe is stronger. And it won't require a lot more materials, just one more 2x4 along with an extension of this joist. Now this idea here seems like it would provide a lot more structural strength because it's sitting on top of a wall here and sitting on top of a framing stud here and will definitely be something to consider if you're going to have the upper stair stringer sitting on top of this part of the landing. Let's go ahead and zoom in on it here, give you an idea of what we're looking at. End nailing into the ledger here, into the framing stud, and then of course nailing the 2x4 to the framing stud. View from the other side. And if we need it to be a little stronger, we can always make this a doubler and then just have double studs here. And of course this might be required depending upon the weight above that will be transferring from the stringers down to this section of the landing. And if we wanted to make it a little stronger, we could get rid of the doubler and then put a beam in here with a solid post. So another good idea here. The next idea would be to extend the joist like we did with the supporting beam here and then have it sitting on top of some two by fours. So this method here is going to require a little more materials and we will block between the joists instead of using a ledger. And this method right here could save you a few dollars depending upon the price of lumber and the price of building hardware during that period of time. And the joist will in nail into the wall framing studs along with the blocks and and of course you can angle the nails again at either end. Here we're angling them into the block. So again, another idea that will provide you with a stronger landing. Another option would be to frame the landing on top of another wall. So we would be using two walls here. 
view from the other side and this would provide you with a sturdy landing no doubt about it because we don't have to worry about any hangers loosening up over time and in our last example we're going to move the wall and put it on top of the framing plate here so that we won't be using as much lumber and I would strongly suggest to run at least one of the framing plates all the way through to the next stud to give you a little more support to prevent the wall here from leaning either in or out. But again, this is just another option. You don't have to do it. Just make sure that this is braced and structurally supported so it is not going to move while you're building the stairs. So again, another good idea. And then you would install the sheathing and then just build a wall on top of the landing and this method here might provide you with and in my opinion it would be difficult to figure out if this method is stronger than the previous method because of the way it ties into the wall framing and even though it might look awesome I could still see some problems when building the wall on this side and keeping everything straight I mean I could just see this right here being built out a little bit or maybe in about a quarter inch and creating problems for the drywall but again that's going to depend upon how much time you spend making sure that this is straight and something like this could take a little longer to build meaning that it's going to cost more in labor and it might be cheaper to just build another wall like this one and put it next to this one and thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area